Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to part five of the professional Photoshop portrait retouching series on srlounge.com. Now, in the last couple of tutorials, we went over kind of removing uh, blemish and unwanted detail, as well as diminishing uh, age lines and eye lines. In this tutorial, we're going to go over another skin effect where basically we're going to uh, learn how to match skin tones over areas where there may be tan lines or just skin discolorations. So you can see how right over her chest area, you can see there's probably most likely this is due to tan lines. These kind of uh, these kind of skin shifts can also be due to, for example, makeup not being applied evenly over uh, the surface of skin. So sometimes makeup can stop at the neckline uh, and, and reveal a different skin tone underneath. So we're going to fix that right now. So let's get started. First we want to, uh, obviously we want to duplicate our previous layer onto a new one. We're going to rename this as part, oops, I keep hitting the caps lock on all these. Part 5, we're going to go Skin Tone Shifts. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to select a new Curves layer, a Curves Adjustment layer, and we're going to add it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, Control R Alt G. What this is going to do is basically apply that Curves layer only to the layer below it. So it's basically going to be paired up with this Skin Tone Shifts layer only. Uh, now, it doesn't, that doesn't really matter, but why I teach you that is because basically if you guys have other layers below that you don't want affected, that's how you would do it, is you'd hit Control-Alt-G or Command-Alt-G on a Mac, and it'll group it to only the layer right below. Now, this is really important. What you're going to do now is you're going to click on this little uh, adjustment layer icon right here and so that the mask layer is not selected. Next, you're going to double-click on this bottom eyedropper. What it's going to do is it's going to say Select Target Highlight Color you're going to bring the eyedropper over an area of the skin tone that you want the uh, non-matching skin tone to match. So we want it to kind of match the, the hues of her face and kind of her neck and everything like that, which looks about the same. So we're going to select this area right here to click. Click there and then hit OK. You're going to say save new target, uh, save the new target colors as default. You hit yes. Next you're going to click back on your mask and now you're going to click on the area that you want to basically adjust. So we're going to click on this area of her chest where we want to adjust it. Don't worry that it kind of uh, applies that tone to the entire image. We're going to fix that right now. You're going to have with the mask selected, you're going to hit Control i which is going to invert the mask, Command-I on a Mac. And now we're going to hit B to select the brush tool. We're going to adjust the brush tool opacity down low, we'll say like around 30%. And then with painting white, so we're going to hit X to reverse our swatches, so that white is selected. We're going to paint over the area of skin tone that doesn't quite match. Now we're going to refine this as we go, so I'm just going to kind of paint over the skin tone area until I have a uh, kind of matching skin tone. And go a couple times, apply it just so that it looks even. That's about right there. I might go one more little adjustment in this tiny area. There we go. And we notice that it is affecting a little bit of like the dress and stuff like that. We can see the dress turning kind of to a, a more yellow color. We'll fix that in just a second. Let's get the skin tone kind of right first. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually blur this effect to uh, make it the transition more gradual. So it kind of looks a little bit more subtle. I'm going to paint just over a little bit more just to kind of further darken that color a little bit. And that's good. Now with our, our mask still selected, you're going to go to Filter, you're going to go to Blur, and then you're going to go to, you can pick whatever blur, I usually pick a Gaussian blur. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it up so that it, it gives me a nice soft blur over that mask. So let's see, I want it to just kind of fade it nicely. And this is just going to basically fade the transition of that blur so that it, it looks more natural. I think about there is good, around 9 pixels. You guys can adjust to your liking. And then what we're going to do is with this uh, mask kind of visible, I'm going to hit backslash to bring up the mask. I'm going to paint it from out of the areas that I don't want it. So obviously I don't want it over the, I kept hitting backslash, sorry. I want to shrink down my brush size. I also want to increase the hardness of my brush so that I can get a nice fine edge. And then uh, I'm going to decrease that brush size to match the size of the dress. And we're going to paint black over where we don't want that revealed. Okay, make sure that, again, your opacity is actually turned back up to 100%. Okay, so we're just going to basically paint over the dress. Um, you want it to be close. If it's not quite perfect, it shouldn't be noticeable. Um, again, we'll turn off the mask and just make sure that we didn't kind of uh, mess it up. So if you, if you kind of cover the skin, you want to undo that because 
Remember this is a faded mask and so basically if you cover the skin area you're not going to be able to paint in at that same level of opacity. So be kind of careful as you're painting in uh, the dress back in. Uh, that should be fine about there. I'm going to just get a little closer to here. Again, be smart, not like me, and do shorter brush strokes so that if you have to undo, it doesn't undo a whole ton of work that you just did. Let's uh, hit backslash, see if it's noticeable along that edge, and it's really not. So that's fine. Again, I'm going to remove it from this edge. Whoops. I'm going to hit X again to reverse my mask, remove from this edge. If you guys want to paint with the uh, mask overlay shown, then hit backslash. If not, then just leave it like this, and you can paint just like this. This works too. All right. I'm going to go over this white strap and as well as his hand right there because I don't want his hand to be too dark. And then just go over this white strap so it appears white again. And, all right, guys, that looks great. Let's check out the before and the after. Here's the before and here's the after. You can see how we've done a really nice job of matching the skin tones on her the chest where the tan lines are with the rest of her face and shoulders. Uh, let's go on. In the next tutorial, we're going to teach you guys how to soften the skin when necessary.